The operating system MinUI has added support for the new 35XX SP. Today we'll be going through how to install MinUI. MinUI does install on top of the stock operating system, but my recommendation is to actually make a copy of the SD card and install MinUI on top of that so that you have a backup copy just in case you want to go back to stock firmware. Just insert the card into an SD card reader and then insert into the PC. From the PC, we're going to download Win32 Disk Imager from the site. Just click on this purple download button. Once it's installed, Win32 Disk Imager, enter. And from here, we're going to select the name of a file that's going to write the image, the SD card to. 35xxsp backup.img. Open, and now let's click the read button. From here, it'll write a backup copy of the 64 gigabyte image to this file. We'll just wait for this to finish. After the write is successful, click OK. Then let's eject the SD card and insert a new one. When that is done, select the right option and start writing this file to the new SD card. After the write is successful, let's exit the program and take a look at the contents. Explore. P drive. This is a copy of the SD card. Next, let's go download MinUI. It's here and available from the GitHub page. Go here to releases. We're gonna download base, go to the downloads folder. And the instructions say to move the BIOS and ROMs folder over. And for the SP, which fits inside the 35XX Plus, we're going to copy over the MinUI zip file as well as this dmenu.bin. So let's go to 35XX, copy over dmenu bin, and then copy over minui.zip. Now, since we still have games from the original SD card, what I like to do is rename BIOS folder to BIOS2. Two. Then copy over the formatted BIOS and ROMs folder from the zip file to the SD card. So from here, there's pre-formatted folders that are expected by MinUI for each system. So what we can do now is go into ROMs2, go into Game Boy, select all the games, we don't need the images folder, cut, back into ROMs, and paste. Since the files are already on the SD card, this, this move is actually very fast. We'll continue this for the rest of the files. Next is to populate the BIOS folder. Here again, we have all of the BIOS files. All we really need for functionality is the PlayStation BIOS. The PlayStation BIOS is a little bit more difficult to find because it's not under a common name. You want to look for a file called the mpr17933.pin, copy, and then paste into the PlayStation BIOS folder. Now let's take the SD card that has the MinUI files on it and insert it into the SP. Once it's in, we'll push and hold the power button to turn it on. Wait for the boot logo. And 
and then it should continue the installation process. And with that, the installation is done. The interface is a clean, simple text-based interface with large text that has two layers, systems and then games. Let's load up a PlayStation 1 game to demonstrate that it works with a copy over BIOS. And it works. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games. Let's take a quick look at the startup of the operating system coming in from a cold boot. We will start a timer from when the button is first pressed until we finally get to an interactive menu. For me, the system loaded in 17.2 seconds. Looking for more emulators, let's go back to the menu I page and download the extras, which should provide another set of emulators officially supported by the developer. Go into downloads, menu I extra, and copy these files over to the SD card. Now that's copied over, let's take a look at the ROMs and see some of the new systems that we got, including Game Gear, which should have games on the original SD card. And now let's put this back into the SD card slot on the SP and see how it looks. Now let's put the SD card back into the device and see which new systems are available. Now available to us is Neo Geo Pocket Color. Next is Pico 8. Next is my personal childhood handheld, the Sega Game Gear. Now another childhood console for me, the TurboGrafx-16. Although admittedly, we may have been better served with the Sega Genesis instead. And last is a system that I'm sure everyone is aware of, but almost nobody has played, the Nintendo Virtual Boy. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more, let me know in the comments. There may be ways to add more emulators from the stock firmware into MinUI. Thank you, have a good day.